Much of the talk this campaign season is about change. At the national level, Barack Obama is talking about change we can believe in. At the local level, the slogan, it's time for a change, has been resurrected. I'm keenly aware of its effectiveness as a rallying cry since I used it in 2000 for my campaign for city council. But then, as now, we must answer the questions about what specifically we want to change. Is change for the sake of change always good? Is it possible to go from the frying pan into the fire? Before the community becomes too enamored with the idea of change, it's critical voters look at what I've achieved during my tenure on council. Since 2000, I've worked with the others on the council to accomplish the following. Comprehensive and balanced implementation of the Regional Land Use and Transportation Plan, changes in city management designed to make regulations more user-friendly, with an emphasis on accommodating growth that's sustainable and affordable, revisions to the Land Development Code to match the goals of the Regional Plan, unbundled bond issues to give voters choices on specific issues, increased citizen participation and transparency at City Hall, We've used charrettes and open houses to increase community participation in the planning and the approval process. We've created the Open Space Commission and revitalized other commissions to emphasize preservation and conservation. We've required staff to present ideas for open discussion prior to council votes, which results in much more consultation with stakeholders. And we've created a more engaged and full-time council recognizing that a growing city needs more responsible expenditure distribution and phased in revenue planning in order to keep up with the demands for service. And we've removed roadblocks to the ability of the tourism industry to flourish. Change is inevitable. In looking back on my service, I find that progress is the process of managing change to ensure that it's desirable. In looking forward, if I'm elected to another term on council, I will focus on the following specifics amending the land development and property management codes so they address affordability and sustainability issues, incorporating sustainability into economic development decisions and building projects, finishing projects such as the Flagstaff Urban Trail connections, the Rio de Flag and the Aquaplex, creating more north-south traffic connections, strengthening our public transit system, and developing housing units in the land trust, bringing a second airline to Pulliam Airport, building a downtown parking garage, completing the science park, drafting plans for the planning reserve areas, revisiting the stormwater utility plan for conservation credit opportunities, strengthening the water conservation program, and increasing public involvement in city decision making by improving e-government and holding more open houses. To learn more about my campaign, please visit www.alwhiteforcouncil.com. Thank you.